When I started YouTube, like most people, I just wanted to shoot and edit videos. And I never thought twice about who my audience was, what problems do they have that I can solve, and what I can offer my audience if they enjoyed my content. And looking back on this, my problems are best summarized by the five critical things that I did not do when I started YouTube. And it cost me years of painfully slow growth. Absolutely everything becomes easier once you know who you're talking to and how you can solve their problems. This lesson is actually part of my free school community where I coach people to their first 1000 subscribers for free with an online course and live Q and A calls. So if that's interesting, link in the description and let's get started. And that is the dream subscriber. So I'm gonna take you now to the workbook that's included in this course um, that you're gonna to get totally for free. You just have to download Notion, uh, it's also free. But let's get straight into the workbook itself. So the purpose of this module is to become crystal clear on the transformation A to B that you offer for your audience, where they are and where they want to be. You know. Certainly when I started off on my YouTube channel, I was just making content uh, for myself because I enjoyed it um, and that's totally fine. That until you get to the stage where you really wanna grow your channel and turn it into a personal brand, this is where this exercise is essential. Like you can't even succeed in my opinion without doing this exercise. Um, unless of course you found a way to hack viral videos and whatnot. But um, the purpose of this is, is building trust. Uh, trust is built in your followers ability to see themselves within you and your journey. This exercise will help you get to the core of who you're actually best positioned to help. And there are five steps in this course right here. And we're going to go across all of them briefly just now. So the first step in this course is, or this, this lesson actually, is to define, define your niche. So I've got a graphic at the top here and at the bottom to remind you of, of what I'm sort of getting at with this lesson. And that's uh, identifying your dream subscribers problems and identifying topics you love to talk about. And we're trying to find the intersections between the two to basically define your niche. So a pro tip is to use chat GPT as you're going through this exercise. I absolutely did. Um, and you're using it to help kickstart your idea and brainstorming process. So identify the unique topics and interests you'll focus on for your YouTube channel. This will help you attract the right audience and stand out in a crowded place. So write down the five interests and hobbies that you're deeply interested in and curious about. Then the five skills and areas of expertise that you currently have. And then from these two things, brainstorm some niche ideas on YouTube that you believe your interests and skills make a good fit for um, and give priority to the niches that you yourself enjoy to consume content on. And there's a reason for that. You know, if you keep naturally coming back to a certain type of content, whether it's self-improvement, whether it's camera tutorials, photography, um, health, what, whatever it might be, that's a strong indicator of, of your interests and what you find curious and what you uh, find clickable, to be honest, in terms of things like thumbnails um, and all that sort of stuff. So once you've done those two um, lists there, copy and paste this prompt right here into ChatGPT. And this will help reinforce some broad niche ideas and specific niche ideas for your YouTube channel. Spend some time on this, guys. I, I, I could spend hours on this step alone, really refining and identifying what I want to do with my YouTube channel. Um, and, and just to be super transparent, actually, I'll, I'm going to bring up my YouTube channel right now and just show you how far I've come in terms of where I started, um, the content I was making when I first started and how many pivots and, and all that sort of stuff I've had. So if I go to the very back, I started off making jujitsu content right down the bottom here, you know, 2020 white belt jujitsu, a podcast video, me setting up my first film sets in my studio here. Like this is rudimentary stuff that um, it's all experimentation. Then I went to muscle up challenges in my backyard, blue belt, nailing anaconda moves, handstand progress. Like it's all over the place, right? And that's kind of very common and very normal for a YouTube channel. But it wasn't until I realized I've got a, a flood disaster video here. But it wasn't until I sort of picked one thing and st stuck to it. Um, you know, we've got how to get a blurry background here, 24,000 views, camera screen goes blank, 37,000 views. Until I sort of just realized I wanted to make videos for videographers, um, that's when everything became much more streamlined. My audience were made clear what I was making content about. They weren't going to get a video tutorial one week and a handstand progress update the next week. You know what I mean? So um, let's jump back into Notion. Um, and I just thought I'd just give you that 
because I know everyone's in different stages, but everything changes once you define your niche, once you understand your interests, your hobbies, your skills, and you move down here to the problems. So now that you've kind of got an outline roughly of a couple of niche ideas with the help of your information and chat GPT, list the problems, fears, and pain points of your chosen niche and ask ChatGPT once you've got a couple answers here to expand on that. Then go to desires, uh, same thing. Uh, what objective is your audience striving to achieve? Um, what's their dream outcome? Then ask ChatGPT to uh, identify the most significant problems and the strongest desires within your niche. List the strongest problem, list the strongest desire. Then do a bit of research. Are there any big YouTubers currently solving this problem or satisfying this desire uh, that you can take inspiration from and list them? Um, do you currently have the skills to solve this problem and help this person make the transformation? So this is just a final validation of are you ready to take on this content? Are you ready to uh, move forward with this niche? Um, if you do have the skills, expertise and knowledge to do it, then you're ready to roll. Um, if you don't, then give your your yourself some time to work on the problem, review other creators, and just keep molding through this exercise. Then the most impactful thing that you can do is um, use this prompt, provide a 50 to 75 word summary of my niche. So you're gonna copy all of your answers here, and then you're gonna paste this prompt into ChatGPT and ask it to provide a summary of your niche, highlighting the strongest problems, desires, and suggest a compelling name and explain your recommendations, making sure they relate to my skills, strengths, and interests. And guys, this is just magic when this happens. It it summarizes your what's been in your head for so long and it really helps you get on the right track, get clear on who you're talking to. And this helps immensely come up with video ideas, come up with uh, product ideas, come up with all sorts of ways to take your channel to the next level. So let's go back to lesson number or exercise number two. This is market research. I'm just going to glance over this so that you guys can do this in your own time. But use this guide to conduct market research for your niche that you're focusing on. Understand the worries, problems, desires of your target audience is crucial for your YouTube success. By diving into these questions, you'll uncover valuable insights that will help you connect with your audience and tailor your content to their needs. So um, I've given examples in red here, guys, for basically my rough answers for what I did on my YouTube channel and this school community more recently um, to help spark your ideas and help spark your inspiration to answer these questions for yourself. But go through these, you know, what's your target audience afraid of? Um, my aspiring YouTuber audience, uh, fear of putting in the effort to see no results and no growth. Uh, they worry about wasting their time and money on ineff ineffective strategies, facing the frustration of slow subscriber growth and being unable to find a niche that resonates with an audience. That's a really powerful statement that, you know, you can read over and over again and remind yourself of uh, what pain points you're trying to talk to in your content, what, um, you know, relate to these elements in these paragraphs as often as you can in your short form, long form content, in your thumbnails. Uh, believe me, everything changes when you can start to weave these elements and aspects into your content, into your thumbnails and titles. What makes them angry? Um, incredibly, incredibly important exercise. So go through this one. That's market research. We'll go down to avatar creation. Um, I automate this process uh, with AI. I basically just use this prompt guys and this will at least get you started with an avatar profile or a persona. Um, this is a pretty hard thing to do and trust me, use this prompt right here um, by inputting your results of the first two worksheets. So you copy and paste your first two worksheet answers, then use this prompt and, and it will uh, summarize your market avatar, your avatar uh, persona um, and paste that response in here. Brand messaging, this is incredibly important. This worksheet is designed to help you create uh, a clear and impactful messages that relate to your target audience on YouTube. So by now you should be able to define your niche. Uh, and my answer is helping first time creators get their first 1000 subscribers, but also build a brand foundation and monetization strategy for their content once they get there. So not only am I trying to help you guys get to 1000 subscribers, but I'm trying to help you position your brand on YouTube um, as a easily monetizable brand uh, when you hit 1000 subscribers or even before that. So I know there's a few of you at different different stages and different levels, but if you figure out who you're talking to, like I said earlier, and work out your messaging and who, how you're trying to help people, it is so easy to offer your audience products, services that they actually need that you can help them with before you even hit 1000 subscribers. So 
This brand messaging is extremely, extremely important. Uh, what's their current situation? What's their desired situation? And that's well depicted here in this graphic. Um, and then you summarize this guys in a simple, simple message uh, formula. I help niche get result with your offer. I help everyday creators grow from zero to thousand subscribers on YouTube with my free course and community. It's that simple. Once you summarize it and distill it into a tweet, basically, um, you can just get so clear about everything that you need to be doing and delete all the bullshit, guys. There's so much bullshit that we're doing that does not serve this offer. Like that does not serve my audience or my group of people. It's just making content for the views or clicks. It's There's a, there's a time for that later when you wanna generate traffic. But if you don't even have an offer and you're just trying to generate traffic, I genuinely believe you're wasting your time. You need to put the time into creating your offer, What why your audience should be watching you um, and, and how you can help them before you even worry about generating traffic. And the last exercise here, guys, is offer creation. So feel free to do this over the course of, you know, a few days, but I encourage you, dial into this and get it done as, as, as quickly as possible. Don't let it go on for weeks because you just lose so much time. If you slam into this for a few hours over two or three nights, you'll get this done, if not in one night. Um, so this exercise will help you clearly define the transformation of your audience. That uh, of your audience will experience through your YouTube content, aligning your channel purpose with your audience's needs. So what is their biggest and most pressing problem that your audience is facing right now? By now, guys, you should be able to breeze through this worksheet. Can you position your offer as the perfect solution to this problem? You see where I'm going with this. Then we look at the value equation. I'll actually drop the value equation in here by Alex Hormozzi, which I think is, is brilliant. Um, you're, all talk, you're now getting quite tactical about how you can increase the perceived value reducing the uh, likely, uh, reducing the time delay and all sorts of stuff like that um, from million dollar offers. So then you wanna summarize your offer into a formula like we did uh, previously. I help my target audience achieve X um, by how my offer delivers this result to the transformation. So once you read and memorize this offer time and time again, like I said, it, it will really pay off and really help you align every piece of content that you create. Because ultimately guys, YouTube and content creation is just a marketing vehicle for your brand and your offer. So whether whether that's one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether that's a product, a digital download, um, a school community, whatever it is, your YouTube content is literally just the funnel. That's, that's really all it is. AdSense is not gonna make you um, a full-time creator unless you're in the big, big, big size. And even then you're gonna want other streams of income for monetization. So um, we, we have to position a product and offer in the way of that traffic that we're generating on YouTube and on our social media platforms. So the last exercise guys, which I have found incredibly helpful is lastly asking AI to generate an image of your audience avatar. And this can be a bit creepy, it can be a bit interesting. Um, and I did this over a few, few goes, um, but creating a, a portrait of your dream subscriber brings them to life. I, I also named my dream subscriber Luke and I summarized him in a paragraph right here. My dream subscriber is Luke, a 30 year old content creator who has always felt there was more he could achieve. He's passionate about creative work and self-improvement, but he's struggling to turn passion into a full-time career. Luke has uh, had some success online, enough to keep him motivated, but not enough to feel secure. He's determined to grow on YouTube and turn it into a steady income source. Luke knows that he has potential to succeed, but he's looking for the right guidance to help him reach his goals. Now, if I've obviously done that right, there's a small group of people in here right now, but maybe one or two of those points resonates with, with any of you guys. And, and that's the point, it's supposed to. If you do this exercise right, you should be able to, your your fans or your audience should, should resonate quite strongly with what you're doing. And that means you're on the right track, guys. So. Um, that's basically all I have for this first lesson. Um, I'm building this as I go and your feedback is really appreciated, guys. I'll continuously be updating this content to improve it. The worksheet is now live. It should be in the links uh, below. So go through that, engage in the community, guys. Give me your feedback and I look forward to seeing you on a Q&A call soon. See you there. Thank you.